On a quiet night in Masitala village, 12-year-old William Kamkwamba lay wide awake, staring at the darkness. William didn't see the darkness as a barrier, he saw it as a challenge. Life in Masatala was both simple and hard. William's family farmed maize and tobacco, working tirelessly to survive. Like most of Malawi, their home lacked electricity, and the villagers lived at the mercy of the elements. William's father, Triwell, was a farmer who had once been a traveling trader. The land is our life, Triwell often told William, his voice tinged with both pride and weariness. We must respect it, even when it's cruel. William, however, had a mind that wandered beyond the fields. With his cousin Jeffrey and his best friend Gilbert, he spent his free time tinkering with broken radios. William, Jeffrey teased, holding up a twisted wire. Do you really think you can fix this junk? William grinned. Of course, and maybe next I'll build something even bigger. In December 2000, disaster struck. Torrential rains led to massive flooding. Crops withered and famine gripped the land. Families, including Williams, began eating just one meal a day. Papa? William began hesitantly. What if there's a way to make things better? To bring water to the fields even when the rain doesn't come? Triwell looked at his son, his face lined with worry, but also curiosity. Better how, William? I don't know yet, William admitted, but I'll find a way. When school fees became unaffordable, William was forced to drop out. Deprived of his education, he turned to the village library. He discovered a book titled Using Energy. Its pages contained diagrams of windmills that could generate electricity. His heart raced as he studied them. I can build this, he told Jeffrey one afternoon holding up the book. Jeffrey raised an eyebrow. A windmill? William, people will think you've gone mad. Let them think what they want, William replied firmly. I'll show them it can work. Determined, William scoured the scrapyard for materials. Villagers mocked him as he hauled junk through the village. William, what are you doing with all that rubbish? An elder called out. You'll see, William said with a grin. One day it won't be rubbish, it'll be light. After months of work, William's windmill was ready. With the help of Jeffrey and Gilbert, he built a 16-foot tall tower. As the windmill rose, a crowd gathered, some laughing, others curious. William, are you sure this will work? Gilbert asked nervously. It has to, William replied, gripping the wooden ladder. If we don't try, nothing will ever change.